video, I'm going to show how to sand ice resin or any kind of resin for that matter. So as you can see here, there is a really large lump and all of this area is really sharp. So the dichroic, they said, lifted up. So just take a look at how uneven this is. And there's like this huge lump right here. So I'm going to use the following abrasives. The unitized wheel in a fine, the micro finishing film in a fi uh, fine grade and a very fine followed by my two buffs with a compound, the jewel tool compound and a clean buff. So let's go ahead and grind the rough surface down. So I run it at full speed. You're going to see right here the wheel how Take a look this is the finish that we have now and I'm going to smooth it down with a fine grind micro finishing so this is a 15 micron so I'm gonna hold it here So then the next step would be the very fine. This is a 9 micron. So running at, again, full speed. Let's sand this down. And you can see it's a finer sand. You can see the difference from this sand to that sand. You didn't you'd notice it in the polishing so next I'm going to use my jewel tool polishing wheel with compound so see how I mark it with compound so I give myself a good amount of compound and I'm just going to hold it up against it just ever so slightly and just think of this as a finer sandpaper do you see how you already get a sheen from the sandpaper in there so I flip it around I'm going to give myself another zhuzh. You don't want to push too hard, but you want to make sure you're making full contact with the wheel. And a nice little... There you go. Wow. And there you go. Just want to make sure I got it all down. That should do it. Now, as you can see, we've got a really pretty shine right now. Look at that, how it's fluid and nice and smooth. Um, but I like to hit it one more time with a clean buff. This will assure, without compound, this will assure that number one, all the compound is now off the piece. And the natural cotton fibers give it an extra gleam of luster because we don't need the compound anymore and so this is the finish that you should get off of the compound 
And there you go. This is the final piece. So take a look at how the light now follows the piece. And you know, it becomes very deceptive because when this is polished just like an actual stone, people question whether or not this is, you know, an opal, what is it? Because look at how it follows the light. Whereas if you just had plain resin, sometimes the, um, the light flow is very bubbly and lumpy. You know, like I have another piece I'm working on. I don't know what happened to it. I was going to compare it, but whatever. But nonetheless, look at the beautiful polish. Oh, thank you. So like this is another piece. And usually when you have a piece that is, you know how lumpy and bumpy it is, whereas this, you get that beautiful flow of light, which really resembles an actual gemstone. There you have it, polishing resin on the jewel tool. For any questions, please email us at sales at jeweltool.com or um, the polymer clay kit will actually polish any resin if you're questioning. That's available online. Available online, jeweltool.com, J-O-O-L-T-O-O-L.com.